The World Bank's International Finance Corporation has infused close to 450 crores into Apollo Health, which is a wholly owned subs subsidy of uh, the Apollo Group. CNBC TV Dean's Nitya Balakrishnan caught up with Sangeeta Reddy of the Apollo Hospitals, and uh, here's what she had to say. We're announcing the investment of 450 crores into Apollo Health and Lifestyle, mm -hmm. which is the uh, medical retail arm mm -hmm. of the Apollo Hospitals Group. We have seven different formats, which include the family clinics, mm -hmm. one of our first ones. We have Spectra, which is the short stay surgery centers. We have Cradles, which is our boutique birthing centers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a diagnostic division, which is growing in terms of lab diagnostics. Uh, Apollo Sugar is our dedicated focused diabetes uh, mm -hmm. treatment planning uh, center as well as uh, 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 a kind of management, condition management for diabetes which has become extremely popular mm -hmm. and showing tremendous results in terms of helping people manage their diabetes. We also have a nephrology and a sure. dental chain. So these are the formats across AHLL. Uh, the fund infusion is really for growth in each of these formats. Mm -hmm. So the cradles where we currently have eight, two more in construction, the cradle formats will go to a minimum of 20 mm -hmm. as per our market survey in specific cities. Um, we will be growing the clinics currently 72 to over 100 in the next uh, 12 months itself. Sure. Um, the, spec the diagnostic division is going to see some significant growth. We're currently well positioned in the southern states. We're looking at the northeastern states and then we'll move into central India. So each of the formats has a specific growth plan. And, uh, but what they have at the back end, which is common, is an understanding of the current retail consumer. Are we looking at expanding the presence and footprint really in India? So it's a combination format. The footprint in India will go from 17 states. At least five other states have been identified for growth. Uh, it's also same city, same format growth potentially. So we need to balance probably three extra clinics in one city. So it's a combination of both. And district headquarters to be completely covered in terms of the diagnostics. How do you think demonetization will impact the pharma and healthcare sectors? So I think with big changes, come big potential. Mm -hmm. So this has the potential to move people into a highly insured environment and therefore enable greater access, which would be a wonderful positive move. Uh, I think it's a bit early in the day to talk about its direct impact on healthcare. Uh, however, at a, at a nationalistic long term, mm -hmm. my view is positive on demonetization. What